Louis, Missouri. Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. I'll tell you, Cole, these WWE fans are so fired up, I'm having a hard time staying in my seat. I'm with you on that, partner. We've got a great show here tonight for these St. Louis fans, and I can't wait to get started. It's only a matter of time before Candice Michelle tries to cheat in this match, and when she gets caught, she'll try to pretend that she's completely innocent. We've seen it before. Hey, girl pants, believe me, there's one thing that Candice is not, and that's innocent. And personally, I dig that. Why do I get the feeling it won't be long before you work the word puppies into your repertoire, Taz? I'll beg you to give me a little credit and respect me somewhat, and I'm not going to act like an old washed-up wannabe Taz named Long. Peach. She's clearly unstable and a danger that everyone she gets in the ring against. Yeah, she's dangerous, all right, Cole. But that's cause she's a hell of a competitor. Believe me, this whole crazy thing is just an act. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear, Paul. And there's the reversal. He's done. Oh, what a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You won't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury. Call me partner again. You're an idiot. Taz, you make one more comment like that, we're fitting you for a crown and having you work Monday nights. There's a reversal, Paul. Great reversal! This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job. Sorry to have disturbed you. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulling for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the beginning who you're rooting for. I never... Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win, rather than compete fair. Oh, jeez. Someone's voice just went up a couple of octaves. It hurts just watching it. I can't imagine how excruciating this must be. Oh, my. Talk about your compromising positions. Nothing will take the fun out of a superstar. Wow, look at that submission. I ain't never seen it executed better. Neither have I, partner. And this might be enough. She's got a chance to finish off her opponent right here. Yeah, and she took it. What a huge DDT. These superstars have been going hard all match. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar's like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. On the mat, shoulders down. This could be it. Boy, I'll tell you, Taz, this Mickey James is... 100% psychopath. Did you see that? 
What a desperate maneuver. You know what they say, Cole. It's all legal until you 